So good morning all, and out with RB, and a, a little bit of a ride with the boys down the Super Sausage. So off down the Super Sausage we've got uh, Simon GTR up the front, we've got the 360 camera down the back end and most of the guys are going to meet us at the Super Sausage and obviously this was a ride out planned for the uh, the boys and girls, a couple of them have said we're already out, we're going to do a ride this morning, we'll meet you up at Super Sausage, so we tagged up one tonight, or this afternoon shall I say, or this morning, God can't get me times right. We've got Vincent with us. Now that LXR is one of ours. And Vincent bought that LXR from us, very happy with his bike. It's been in for loads of services with us and it's just nice to have a new rider with us. Now obviously Vincent's never ridden with the big boys before. So we just said to him, uh, Simon is going to uh, do the uh, the lead bike Vincent in the middle and then myself as tail gun Charlie and you may notice by my dash my key fobs being a bit of an ass <laughs> he's telling me no transponder yes it is my key is with the bike you womble typical GTR thing it sometimes picks up no transponder might be time for a battery change on my transponder. Luckily, I have a second key, but it doesn't make it an issue because with these, you just take your key out, bang the transponder up against the front of the ignition down there, and job done. Now, maintaining our space cushions as we normally do. Staggered formation. And then while we're waiting, look it out of gear. And this one's got to come in for some work this week. Because my gear position indicator is working, but it's not kicking in in neutral. So I haven't got neutral light, which means every time I put the side stand down, it cuts the bike out. So shifting positions. And it's nice now to actually have some decent air pressure in the bike. And the 42, 42 as they say for the ZZRs and the GTRs. And on these Pirelli Angels, just look how good it handles now. Just flicks into the roundabouts. And I've now got the hang of pushing down on my pegs and keeping my legs in, thanks to uh, Nick Sweetman and these Rasper boys. Uh, stop sticking your knee out. Yes, I know. Good to see Vincent actually uh, <clears throat> doing a good ride and occupying the right lane position. We're going to hook a left down here. And then as we go down the A5, I can do my normal waffle on like I normally do. And obviously Vincent's now occupying position one. Self out on lane position three just to shield the pack or shield that rider from the other car drivers. And then obviously Friday we did the live stream and it was great to have some of those big, big YouTube riders in joining us in on the stream. So we had the man himself, Hellbelly, otherwise known as Hells on Two Wheels, he popped in. Uh, it was great to see him on the feed. If you haven't checked out Hells on the number two wheels, go and check out his channel. They've done a, a really good run down to Sturgis. They, they literally ride all over the states, cranking up hundreds of miles a day. And I said, what's the most you've ever ridden in a day? 1,200. It's like, Jesus, that's like from here to Scotland and halfway back in a day. So he really ramps up the mileage and uh, 
his Harleys, if you haven't seen his and his wife's Harleys, they are amazing pieces of equipment. So go and check out his channel, that's Hells on Two Wheels. Also uh, in the feed on Friday, and you can go back and watch that feed where we chat about different things. <coughs> and uh, we was joined by Burning Gas Hauling Ass. He came in the feed and obviously he's a night rod owner. I would love to own that bike, I tell you, he has got such a beautiful night rod. Really, really nice piece of equipment again. And uh, he joined us in the feed chatting about uh, electric bikes, fuel, and of course the, uh, all the Chinese bikes that are coming out. And we did chat on about uh, some of the Chinese bikes, all these different brand names that are all coming out. And at the end of the day, they're all good bikes, but it's obviously what you can afford for your money. How much money do you chuck at your first bike if it's a 50cc? Personally, I would say if you're going to stick on a 50 and you're going to keep it for a couple of years, then yeah, spend a bit of money. If it's just going to be for a year, shop around, find yourself at something that's just going to get you, keep you going for that first year. Just to keep you going, and then once you get to the money, save your money up, 17, 125, get whatever you can afford. Now don't scrimp on gear though, you know, most people, oh I've got two grand in the budget and they go and chuck two grand on a bike. You don't uh, obviously go and chuck that much money in and then, oh I've got under a quid for my gear. So make sure that you budget your bike, your equipment, your insurance, everything all in at that price range. And obviously the more money you throw in, the better your equipment and your bike. But... <clears throat> now is the time and obviously people like myself and Simon and obviously Simon was on the feed on Sunday uh, Friday as well and uh, as you can tell he's up the front he has got the same bike as what I have but his is called the Concourse 14 slightly newer version mine is the GTR Gen 1 because mine is on a 59 his is on a 15 plate so slightly newer version, basically Gen 2, or they call it the Concourse 1400 now. But as we always say, these GTRs are built like bombs, you know, they, they're never going to ever fail on you. Apart from the odd transponder error, where it doesn't pick up the key fob. But I bet you as soon as I turn the ignition on and turn it back on again, that will disappear. So that is the one thing that the, uh, the quackers normally get, they'll get a, what's called an F one error and most people see it and go oh it's fuel injection no f1 is transponder transponder or electrics uh, nice to see matey boy in his car just uh, looking the outside lane <coughs> but uh, we shall overcome that situation in just a second once I get off the brow of the hill got the boys with me on the bikes unfortunately double white line can't break it at the moment but uh, we will get a filter on in just a second It's the one thing with the GTRs, they do plough the speed on really, really quick. This thing pulls like an absolute freight train. Obviously keeping my eye on the uh, bikes behind. A bit of visor up for the minute, a little bit of wind noise. Not not. So just about a mile out from the Super Sausage, we'll see how busy it is in a while when we pull in and uh, hopefully see what the Insta's picked up off the back end. Should be quite a nice little ride. Obviously we'll keep the Insta there and we'll do a little bit of footage when we come back on the Insta. Just have a little bit of a pan around the bike. 
and that is the one thing I do like about the Instas absolutely spot on with their uh, stuff and what they do uh, just enjoying the ride this morning and as I always say on this thing, it's like riding an armchair, it's so comfortable riding this bike, I absolutely love it. Gonna screen up a bit more, get rid of some of that wind noise while I've got my visor up. So, coming into Super Sausage, I wonder how busy it is going to be this morning. It's busy, but our garage space is free. So good ride from Vincent, good lane positioning. And we'll get parked up and we'll see uh, how it goes this morning. A lot of uh, our regulars here. There's one of them there. Morning. That is the one thing about these good mirror length on these so you can actually get into a really good tight spot on these doesn't take you long to obviously get in flip the bike around give her a shove but with the mirrors on these super wide you can actually see what you're doing when you're reversing in so that is the fat ninja as simon calls it that's the Concourse 1400. It's busy, busy, busy this morning, so we're gonna have a wander off, we're gonna have a cup of coffee, bank and roll, all the obligatories, and until we get back on the road, we'll see you guys in just a few.